How's it going folks? Uh, Biohazard Customs, I'm sure you know you clicked on the link, but just wanted to show off a little bit of work I've been doing on a tombstone the past few days. Um, got the basic layout, or the basic design of the tombstone done. Did a little bit of extra work, and I came up with an idea for veins. Like, not veins, um, vines. I'm, I'm always wanting vines on my tombstone, so I took grape foam and just squirted it on here. Some of it's still soft, but I just got it on my hand. But as you can see, you know, do it like that, and once I paint the whole thing black, I'll be able to go back and dry brush this green, or even possibly airbrush it. I don't know. But, tried Celtic knotting for the first time, and I messed up the top on this side, so it's just going to look like something happened there. On this side, I got pretty much the way I wanted it. I just figured I would show something to show I'm not being a slacker and laying around watching TV all the time or anything like that. Anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed. Have a good night. How's it going folks? Biohazard Customs. Um, been a while since I did a vlog. Figured I would do a quick one on my $20 prop challenge entry. I decided I was going to go the simple route and just do another tombstone and add some intricacy to it. I apologize, I've been up all night, I can't talk. But anyway, here's my $20 prop challenge entry. Okay, and you can't see anything with that light on. There we go. Okay. Not many people realize that I do a lot of tombstones with this date on it. The reason for that is the year of the Salem Witch Trials. Well, George Jacobs was one of the people convicted of being a witch in Salem. I did all of this with a wood burning tool. As you can see down toward the bottom I got a little better. I did minor cracks, not much. This is what I liked about it. I'm not sure how well you can see it. I'll back up a little bit. The green that you can see in this video is vines. I used great stuff foam. I used about a third of a can of great stuff. As you can see, these are a lot better. I did this side last. But I used about a third of a can of great stuff. And I just put it on the squiggly lines and overlapped it in a couple of places. Then after it was done, I airbrushed it, brown first, like a heavy brown, and then came back over the top of it with green. I got a little bit of overspray here I've got to fix, but I can fix that in minutes with some monster mud. Then I took half of a skull, one of those little crappy foam skulls that Walmart sells. I scrubbed all that plastic crap off the outside soaked it in black paint, cut the front half of the skull off. I didn't realize you could see that seam. I may have to go back and fix that. But soaked it in black paint and then dry brushed it with monster mud. Yeah. Now you can see George Jacobs' name a little better. Not much, but a little. There we go. All of the lettering was put in with a wood burning tool and the numbers wouldn't fit quite right so I had to hand sculpt those in and as you can tell I suck at that but anyway there's my twenty dollar prop challenge entry I hope you guys have enjoyed have a nice day